أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامجكم الوطني رواد الأعمال كما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف نخبة من رجال الأعمال المتميزة اخترنا لكم اليوم مستر عبد الله عمير خان ذا جنرال مانجر أوف كار جايز أوتو سيرفيسز مستر عبد الله أود لايك تو ويلكم يو فيرست إن أور بروجرام تودي ثانك يو ثانك يو سو ماتش أند ثانك يو فور ذا أوبورتونيتي ثانك يو أت ذا بيجينينغ وي وود لايك تو إنتروديوس يو تو أور أودينس أوكي هو إز مستر عبد الله عمير خان أند أولسو What is Gar Car Guys Auto uh, Services? What so, do you do exactly? So first of all, let me give you a brief intro about myself. My name is Abdullah Omar. I come from India, a small place called uh, Karim Nagar. So I've come here on 2007. In 2007, joining in you know automobile industry, and then I've been here from last 15 years, working in different major companies in UAE, getting a lot of experience. Then I have started uh, uh, Car Guys. Uh, always, we all love cars. Of so, course. car has been my first love. Business has been my second one. That's why I've studied my business management uh, um, studies. Then, uh, after 15 years, like I just said, I have started uh, this business. Mm -hmm. uh, Alhamdulillah, last year, we've taken over the this business. We've completely made over in terms of offering. Uh, quality fleet management with my previous experience uh, at the same time the service using advanced technologies like telematics and obd systems so in short car guys is a, a new way of taking care of your cars uh, and also uh, improving your safety improving your com comfort of course so tell us more about the services that you provide here in car guys so Uh, we provide all the services like mechanical repairs or electrical repairs of the cars. Mm -hmm. If you could see here below the Mercedes or be it German or American or uh, Japanese cars. We have specialist guys here. Uh, at the same time, we also, uh, after providing these the major engine transmission repairs, apart from that, we also work on AC. Then we also have just started working on car care, like car polishing, detailing. With ceramic and PPF, everything. So that that is a different branch which we have just uh, very uh, close by from here. Mm -hmm. So in all, we provide all the solutions in taking care of your car or mm -hmm. maintaining your car, be Perfect. it preventive or pre, uh, you know, preemptive services. Perfect. So within all this competition here in the UAE, there are a lot of competitors. The competitors are always aggressive about their prices, their quality. So what makes you special than others, especially in this field? See, <clears throat> when I've joined here, especially in Umramul, we have about uh, 100 to 150 um, major garages here. Mm -hmm. uh, but setting up here uh, is means like you're setting up your operations in a main market. Mm -hmm. Initially, I was a little scared. Okay, will I be able to manage? What would be my neighbor uh, competitors are there? What would be there in the market? Be it they are not neighbors close by, yeah. far. But uh, they've been very helpful. One is they're teaching us the knowledge about uh, business, uh, you know, competition and everything. At the same time, uh, uh, the learning of it, you know. So this competition is good uh, in terms of improving your standards, improving, you know, quality to the customers. And customer is also expecting, you know, the good standard like we, everybody in Dubai. So yes. competition is healthy. Uh, there is no you know misusing of uh, the facilities and everything thanks to uae for you know many such measures in terms of you know uh, making sure the positive growth is there in uae of course uh, since you are here since 15 years in the uae yes. and you have already opened your own business would like from you an advice for those who are willing also to invest their money and time here in dubai well, see, most of us, I've met my friends, uh, we all wanted to do some business. We yeah. all had issues with the funding first. And, uh, the main issue. Main issue, mm -hmm. the very, very main issue. And some of the guys who've got funds, they, you know, that's very, you know, maybe 20% in UAE. They have uh, money, but they don't have ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, but mostly these uh, people who are already established. First of all, all the youngsters or anybody, be it young or you know old at the late age, if they are they want to start up their own business, is taking risk, you know, analyzing risk, 
and uh, there will be many naysayers saying that okay you can't do it you have a settled job don't settle for your comfort settle in your comfort zone try and see what is out there in the world i'm sure you're going to find a lot of adventurous things lot of beautiful things so i would my advice to all the youngsters is take risk of course so what's your plan for coming years well coming years uh, actually um, the way we have dealt with covid Mm -hmm. uh has given me a lot of courage that okay even if i want to you know if i want to invest or expand ua is the best place yes so i have uh, we have started in umramul because this is where you know the most of the garages and is there the second is we want to establish two more uh, uh, service centers one is in alkuz and second one is in dip area uh, targeting all the companies because our specialty is fleet management we use uh, Uh, by using fleet management, we reduce the cost of the company's uh, fuel, uh, you know, fuel, fuel consumption uh, on fuel consumption, and at the same time, downtime of the vehicles. At the okay. same time, you know, safety, improving the safety and all. So, since our forte is fleet management, it like to be in a places where most companies are, like Alcoos and the DIP area. <clears throat> so. Here we are in the UAE. The safety and security is on another level. It's yes. really high level here in in terms of safety and security. How can this affect you as a business owner, and how can this also affect the market itself? See, <clears throat> in my previous jobs, in the last fifteen years, one two years, I've worked in one company where I had to travel almost all the places in Middle East in Africa. So, having stayed here. at uh, the same time having visited most of the middle east countries be it uh, jordan or you know all arab countries iran be it any place uae i can say in my view is the safest country yeah <clears throat> it's not just because i'm living here it's my first love or you know i have i've migrated here from i've been living here 15 days 15 years but since i have visited all these places i know first hand that uae is the safest country yes this has you know gives a lot of courage to the people not only it is safest country the ua leaders everybody is proactive in terms of taking care of a challenges pandemic comes you know um, uh, we have a financial crisis comes all these things are common in every country but how you deal with it is different in ua mm-hmm. that has given a lot of courage putting all my whatever uh, you know uh, income saved everything in, into this business so that uh, you know i could take it to the next level taking that risk of course so before we end our interview today we'd like to thank you for being with us so and much. being a part of our guests also we'd like to know how can we reach and contact uh, car guys so uh, you can reach car guys on uh, direct mobile you can uh, you know contact us on 0555031298 or uh, they can also reach us through email and uh, you know the mobile numbers of course all the contact details or the website will be shown down the screen thank you again for being with us today it's thank really you. an honor الى هنا اعزائي المشاهدين ننهي حلقتنا الاسبوعيه مع ضيفنا المميز تابعونا كل جمعه وسبت على قناتكم ابي سي العربيه دمتم بخير وفي امان الله